PSR B1919 plus 21 is a pulsar with a period of 1.3373 seconds and a pulse width of 0.04 seconds. Discovered by Jocelyn Bell Burnell on November 28, 1967, it is the first discovered radio pulsar. The power and regularity of the signals were briefly thought to resemble an extraterrestrial beacon, leading the source to be nicknamed LGM-1 for Little Green Men. The original designation of this pulsar was CP1919, which stands for Cambridge Pulsar at Ra 19 hours 19 minutes. It is also known as PSR J1921 plus 2153 and is located in the constellation of Vulpecula. Discovery In 1967, a radio signal was detected using the Interplanetary Scintillation Array of the Mullard Radio Astronomy Observatory in Cambridge, UK, by Jocelyn Bell. The signal had a 1.3373020883331 second period and 0.04 second pulse width. It originated at celestial coordinates 19 hours 19 minutes right ascension, plus 21 degrees declination. It was detected by individual observation of miles of graphical data traces. Due to its almost perfect regularity, it was at first assumed to be spurious noise, but this hypothesis was promptly discarded. The discoverers jokingly named it Little Green Men 1 LGM1, considering that it may have originated from an extraterrestrial civilization, but Bell soon ruled out extraterrestrial life as a source after discovering a similar signal from another part of the sky. The original signal turned out to be radio emissions from the pulsar CP1919, and was the first one recognized as such. Bell noted that other scientists could have discovered pulsars before her, but their observations were either ignored or disregarded. Researchers Thomas Gold and Sir Fred Hoyle identified this astronomical object as a rapidly rotating neutron star immediately upon their announcement. Before the nature of the signal was determined, the researchers, Bell and her PhD supervisor Anthony Hewish, considered the possibility of extraterrestrial life. We did not really believe that we had picked up signals from another civilization, but obviously the idea had crossed our minds and we had no proof that it was an entirely natural radio emission. It is an interesting problem, if one thinks one may have detected life elsewhere in the universe, how does one announce the results responsibly? Who does one tell first? <laughs> Nobel Prize controversy When Hewish and Martin Ryle received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1974 for their work in radio astronomy and pulsars, Hoyle argued that Jocelyn Bell Burnell should have been a co-recipient of the prize. <laughs> <laughs> Cultural reference The English post-punk band Joy Division used an image of CP1919's radio pulses on the cover of their 1979 debut album, Unknown Pleasures. German-born British composer Max Richter wrote a piece inspired by the discovery of CP1919 titled Journey CP1919. The English indie rock band Arctic Monkeys used a sound based on the pulses in their music video for 4 out of 5. <laughs> 